Hey guys, it's Adam here playing some Disc Golf Valley multiplayer. Let's get into a match here. Just searching for a match. Try again here. I won't, I won't keep you too long. Yeah, excited about Val League starting up on Tuesday. Should be fun. Been practicing my lines for certain holes. And I'm excited. I really hope that... And I know that our team is capable of winning. And so I hope that we all play our heart out and play our game and let the chips fall where they may. Okay, we got Sandman, Coke, and K-Dog. We got Crow's Nest, Downtown, and Lost Island. Looks like I couldn't quite see that last one very well. That went so fast. I liked it before in the multiplayer when you could actually see the layouts for a little bit longer. But ever, whatever. You give and you take, right? 15. Forehand will go on that. Take our time with it just to make sure we get the right height on the chains. Something I'm trying to be more diligent about is these shorter throw-ins just to make sure I don't... I give myself the least chance for a spit-out as possible. While still at the end of the day making sure that I get high enough not to hit the cage. Because then there's no chance of a spit-out because you're not even going in the basket at all. So, yeah. I aim for the bottom quarter to a bottom third of the chains, basically. That's my kind of reference point. All right, Crow's Nest 9 here. We're looking okay. Not amazing, not horrible. I think we can run this. Just got to line it up, take our time, and cash it. Crow's Nest 9 is always a fun one to get there. That MD1, you can see how it's just money in this hole. Absolute money. And wow, we actually had uh, another eagle on the cards. So that's good. Kind of expected it, though. When you're playing with people of top 100 caliber, top one, top 250 caliber, um, you're going to get eagles, especially the top 100 caliber players. You'll you'll see more eagles from them. All right, uh, here we're going to go backhand uh, raptor, and we're going for an eagle bid here. This is a little wide, but it could hyzer in in time. And perfect. I'd rather go wide than, than too, uh, too much hyzer because that makes the disc not go as far away from the basket and OB. Taking the longer flight to get to the basket if you go wider than shorter. Or with more hyzer, I should say. Okay, three win. Got to be careful here because this could sk skippy long stocking all the way down to the bottom there. We don't want that. So take our time. Line it up. And if we're high on this hill, I'm okay with that. And that is totally fine with me. Uh, 20. We're going to play this as a putt just because this nasty wind here. And we'll cash that. A little dicey, but we got it. My, it felt a little weird coming out of the hand, so maybe I won't putt those <laughs> as much, but uh, I was worried that the wind was going to lift me into the band. And then here, we're going to go backhand on downtown two, that is, and then go up the gap for an ace run here. I feel pretty confident I can get this close. And that's looking wonderful. That could go right in the basket. Get in there. Get in. Let's go. Yeah, it feels good to get that one, too. That Sampo, uh, once I figured out the line, it was hard to get a line dialed on Downtown 2, but once I did, oh, boy, is that money. And Coke is just fl flabbergasted right now. Downtown 8, I believe this is. We're going to go... S oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wrong disc. Uh, Sampo. We're going to go Sampo, and then we're going to go Light Glide Paradigm over the trees. That's going to be taking the most risk out of play, the most randomness out of play. And we're just going to get all the way down there if we can. This is looking wonderful. Wonderful. The only tree you have to miss, really, is the tree if you uh, if you play it in the middle. Up top there, there's a tree in the middle you need to avoid. You got to go right of it or left of it. I went left of it there, as you can see. Maybe. Because <clears throat> sometimes you can get caught up in that tree if you're not careful. But otherwise, everything else is fine. Okay, Lost Island eight or i mean nine. Oh, three win though this is dicey I'll, i will say that okay normally i go like here i'm gonna go here with a straight pull maybe here even i just want to play it safely on the front edge of this hopefully oh, i should have went even backhand honestly well laying up might have been the smarter play uh anyhow can't can't line or linger on that. We're gonna go skip Sampo and just play it low, 
to try to get underneath this wind a little bit and get in this mouth. Perfect. Coke got a par. We got par, 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 par. Sandman's going to get birdie here potentially. Oh, no, he also gets par. He just got it his own way by laying up. Honestly, I should have just laid up. I just don't know the layup play very well. Usually in most wins, you can actually give that just to get to the second island pretty safely. So, oh, well, take a par there. That makes up for my ace, I guess. And then here on this hole, the key is I don't like to drive this green. I like to play it safe to the left and then throw it in. And that seems to work better for me. Seems to give me a more consistent result here. And the game, this game is all about consistency because uh, the valley can be random. But if you do certain things, you can minimize the randomness for better or for worse. You want to minimize the danger and the risk involved. Ground play, ice, water, all those things are risky. <clears throat> and now hole nine. Uh, this is going to be just another simple birdie to secure the win. And then I should be hitting level 500. So I want to show you my bag here. But let's make sure we finish out here. And Ooh, so we'll, got caught up a little bit, but we have a little short throw in. We should be able to make this no problem. 29, just take a little bit more time on this. And we got it. Whoa, looks like the disc kicked me over. The other guy's disc, maybe. Or am I seeing things? I don't know. It just looked like my my disc shot right a little bit. Just ever so slightly. Sandman goes forehand. I'm not sure what he's trying to do there. Must have a water skip line. Yep. Not really sure you need to use a water skip line on this hole, honestly. If you can go backhand accurate disc, why not, right? Anyhow, let's check these guys' bags real quick. So Coke, he's playing decent. View his bag. He's got some uh, nice global stamps in there. Worlds. Yeah, everyone's bagging that new sapphire. Oh, it's so it's so good. He has... Oh, hang on. He has no windbreak mid in his bag. That's interesting. He's got a glide fuse and a glide core. Huh. He's really got his uh, glide mids covered there. Sandman here. I've played him on days when he's hot, and when he's hot, he is good. <clears throat> He's got an evidence and a cox, eh? Wow. Look at him. Uh, two water skip drivers. A wind roll. Captain. Um, he, goes, he got a light glide drive and then glide skip rive and glide skip captain. Not bad, not bad. Okay. I'm, I'm going to look at K-Dogs another time. Next time I run into him. Level 500? Level 500. <laughs> All right, let's see if it's any good. And uh, Wind Glide Raider. <laughs> okay, I'll take that, I guess. Wow. So underwhelming. Oh, well. Uh, let's check out the leaderboards now. I've been winning a couple, so maybe I'll shoot up there. I finally hit champ the other day. I didn't record that video, though. Um, okay, I'm in the top uh, 10. I'm at 7th right now. And, uh... We're getting up there. I took Erickson down a few notches the other day. Uh, beat him a few times. and He is a tough competitor. It seems like he's almost come out of nowhere, you know? Like, yeah, I'm just so surprised by that. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed that. And, uh... We'll see you in the next video.